computer business in no way is dead. It has only slowed down because of old technology. The competition is still selling old-fashioned products and they did not offer the user what he wanted. He reads in the press about 16-bit machines, about 32-bit machines, and he's still being offered 8-bit machines, only because the industry has a lot in the warehouse. They have overbuilt. So it's slowed down because they're not offering them what they want. The first of these firms is launching a new product at this show. To boost the promotion, the owner of Atari is making a special appearance. Jack Tremell bought Atari outside in 1984 for nearly 200 million pounds. A survivor of Auschwitz, Tremell once said that business is war, and he is now renowned for his determination and drive. The machine he is about to launch is one of a new generation of powerful micros, one of the Atari ST range. Ladies and gentlemen, what we'd like to do is an informal session due to... Ladies and gentlemen, what we'd like to do is an informal session due to ask Jack your many questions about Atari, about the launch of the ST, and about our PEG and PGW show today. Jack. When are your plans to introduce the machine into the mass market? Uh, beginning of 1986. To date, Jack Tremell has been successful in nearly everything he's produced. But how does he know what users want in a microcomputer market? Uh, that's a very easy question to answer, but I would not want to answer it. Because Pepsi Cola does not tell Coca Cola what they, how they uh, manufacture soda. Eh? But uh, I can tell you it's a very simple form. We live in a high technology information age. The majority of companies in Silicon Valley and around the world are spending hundreds of millions of dollars for developing new microprocessors, the most advanced microprocessors. I believe very much to be my own competitor. I, I hate competition, but I don't mind being my own competitor. The idea is always to try to offer the latest technology, right, at the best price to the user. And he is my boss. He tells me, right, what is good and what is bad. Not market research, 